I've got my pan over medium high heat here and I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil to that pan. I'm going to add some sliced mushrooms. I cheap out and buy mushrooms that have already been sliced. You can use canned mushrooms if you choose. I'm just going to put maybe half of this package of mushrooms in here. And I'm going to saute these for just a few minutes. And while these are sauteing, I'm just going to break them up into smaller bits. I don't like how big these mushrooms are. And once these are sauteed, I'm going to remove them and put them into a bowl. Sorry, I can't see that. Now I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of butter to my pan. And hopefully my pan's not too hot. And once my butter is almost melted, I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of flour. And I'm going to switch to a whisk here. And I'm going to whisk this together to make a roux. And you only want to cook this roux for maybe 30 seconds, like that. And then I'm going to add one and three quarters of a cup of chicken stock. This is homemade chicken stock. One and three quarters cup, coincidentally, is a 15 ounce can of chicken stock. So if you want to use a can, by all means you can. And just slowly add this in and keep whisking. You want to get all that, all those lumps out and make this nice and smooth. And I'm also going to add one cup of milk. Once you've got all the lumps mixed out of it, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt and some black pepper. I'm just going to eyeball the pepper here. About like that, maybe quarter teaspoon. And mix this in. And I'm going to add in, back in, my mushrooms. Uh, two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that you have pre-cooked. Uh, this is actually only one. Uh, recipe calls for two. I'm just saving a little bit of cash here. Get this out of the whisk. Whisk that in. And then finally, three quarters of a cup of frozen peas and carrots. Now you want to bring this up to a boil. Once this comes up to a boil, I'm going to cook this for just a minute or so, just to make sure that that raw flour taste is out. And go ahead and serve this over biscuits. And there you have it. Chicken a la king. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.